Welcome back everybody. It's Sunday, May 10th, Mother's Day. And uh, so me and Aaron are going to go downtown Palm Springs to a restaurant called, what's it called? Fisherman's Market. Market. And we're going to pick up some fish and chips for lunch. And then after we get home, I'm probably going to fertilize some fruit trees. And it's going to be about, about 100, degrees, 100 degrees today, not too hot. All right, so we're still required to wear our face masks when not in public or in businesses. So I have a new one, matches the shirt, summer color. Hopefully we don't have to wear these masks much longer because it is really getting hot here in the desert to be wearing these masks. So last week this time we were downtown, we went to Lappert's Gourmet Ice Cream. Uh, it's one of our favorite ice cream shops in downtown Palm Springs and I'll put a video link up here if you want to check out that video. We went and uh, picked up some Dole Whip last week. So now we're doing Fisherman's Market, some fish and chips for Mother's Day. Let's go get lunch. So that was quick, simple. We called in our order. We picked up three orders, uh, fish and chips, codfish, uh, three pieces. So it wasn't bad. They had it ready for us as soon as we walked in, grabbed it, and now we're on our way home. So everyone check out this uh, order. We ordered three orders, fish and chips. Let me show you what we uh, picked up. And it was delicious. And it came with a side of slaw. All right, everyone, so welcome to our fish and chip mukbang. Mom chose to uh, stay inside because it's a little over 100 degrees. It's a cool spring day here in the desert. And uh, so, yeah. So some things that we wanted to talk about in our mukbang are our cruise plans. So originally we were supposed to uh, sail the Carnival Mardi Gras on the U.S. inaugural sailing out of New York. Mm -hmm. And about two weeks before Carnival canceled, we had to cancel, some stuff came up. And then Carnival Cruise Line canceled that cruise. So my mom was still booked on it, so she received the benefits, we did not. So then we rescheduled another cruise. So next week, uh, every year in May, we go on the... No, not in Sonata. The um, um, Carnival Inspiration. Yeah. So Carnival canceled that cruise. So when we rebooked our cancellation from the Mardi Gras, we booked this August on the Carnival Panorama. Well, Carnival canceled that one too. <laughs> canceled that one too. So right now we're just putting everything um, on hiatus right now until we figure out what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go. And we're probably gonna even get the time off to go. Yeah, because Aaron lost his job. So to let you know what's going on with this on app, at the beginning of all this, and you can talk too. Yeah. So at the beginning of this, I lost my job or my hours were cut. So then I got brought back. I'm only getting like, I don't know, 20 hours a week, 25, 30 hours a week. Yeah, and then I lost my main job and then my second full-time job did leave me on for 20 hours a week so far, but um, everything got pretty much canceled. The insurances were lost. I didn't have no health insurance. So the other issue with our August cruise, if Carnival would have kept it on the books, would have been, it's not guaranteed that we would have been able to go because Aaron lost all his vacation time. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so even when we do go to book again, we have to be careful because I'm not going to have vacation time. So we'll see what happens. If not, we can at least get a three-day cruise in somewhere. 
We're going to do something. Until we can wait for another year when I have built up some more vacation time. You going to eat? Yes. It's a mukbang. You're supposed to talk and eat. <laughs> I think Mother had the right idea about staying inside. It's getting a little warm out here now. It's a spring day. Although it's been warmer, today's not that bad. But guys, I mean, this fish it been. is amazing. Mm. What Fisherman's Market, they've been here for years, generations. Yeah, they're downtown pump strings. So we've been trying to support our local businesses. Which again is rare for us because we're, once we go back to work, David and I used to work 80, 90 hours a week. We never had time to go out and do things together or see each other and go out and have a little well, meal like much, this. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of like ships passing in the night a lot of times. So we never really had a chance to really go and support any of our local businesses in this sense. So this is a rare treat. All right, now's a good time to uh, support your local business. Yeah. And also a good time for us to get caught up on all the projects you've been watching us do because, again, we've really never had the time. They're always on the back burner. And now we have the time and we're knocking them out. And it's been a lot of work, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's oh, yeah. a lot of work and we still have... We're still trying to get one of our bedrooms back together. And we will. The other issue that we're facing too is like with our work schedules, a lot of the things that we need to do or places that we need to go, they're no longer open on the weekends anymore. So they're only open Monday through Friday. Like the rock quarry that um, we go to to get our rock and yeah, our gravel. So David had to take the day off and go there because it's not open on the weekend. And the mom can't go and get the you know that heavy rock by herself. Well, I didn't take the day off. I, I, yeah. But they let me have it off because, you know, business was slow. And I was yeah. like, okay, well, this, it works out both ways. But things go back to normal. Mm, this is good. And everybody wishes they could cruise again. They will. It'll happen. It will happen. One of the other things we're possibly looking at is maybe doing, uh, I don't know, doing some land vacations. Mm -hmm. Maybe do an all-inclusive resort. You know, we're going to stay closer to home. You know, Mexico, Canada. Mm -hmm. Close proximity to the U.S. At least for a little while to think get back to normal. Because flying, we'll, I think, is going to be a nightmare once they really get everything back going. I don't know how you're going to social distance yourself on an airplane. Unless they do aisle, skip a row, do another aisle. Uh, so they won't be that. back to normal either for a while. I might do every other seat. Mm -hmm. There's a nice light breeze today, though, even though it's warm. There is a little breeze. So we've had several comments... Um, private messages from our subscribers and our Instagram followers. Um, they want to want to start seeing some uh, some of our local things around Palm Springs. So we're going to start trying to do some videos of different things to see and visit here in Palm Springs. But right now it's kind of tough because everything's closed. So there's not really too much, too many places to go. Kind of limited. Once places open up like the tram and the mountain station, we'll go up on the mountain. Especially since it's getting hot here in the desert, because we can go up to the mountain and it's like 30 degrees colder. 30 degrees colder, which is kind of nice in the hot summer. But in the summertime, you have to be real cautious because of rattlesnakes. We had a couple people ask if we did a lot of hiking. We, we like to go hiking, but in the summer, you need to be well hydrated and pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah, because most of the time the trails aren't very well marked. So it's very easy to take a wrong turn and get lost. Or step on a rock and there'll be a snake underneath <clears throat> exactly. of it. Exactly. And with those hiking trails, you don't get a lot of phone signal. Mm -hmm. So my, our uh, recommendation is always make sure your GPS is turned on on your phone. Um, for some reason, uh, they had issues where they have found people up in the mountains because of the GPS signal, but they weren't able to make a call. I don't quite know how that works, but... That's one of the things that we learned. And then later today, we're going to do some uh, other projects around the yard. We've got fertilizer fruit trees and do a little more 
Spray yard work with the, um, we bought a tarp because we're going to get ready to <clears throat> clear up the area where we need to put a new tree in that had died. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do some work on that. Maybe do some more roundup with weeds. Yeah. And then to go get some gas for the barbecue grill. Yeah, we've been barbecuing a lot now that it's warmer because it's just too hot to be turning the oven on. And I have, we both have been definitely. Are you going to eat? I am eating. You better eat it because I will eat it. <laughs> And he ain't kidding, he can eat a lot. Yeah, so I've definitely gained some weight, I'm not gonna lie. We we both gained some weight. And uh so I'm gonna have to get we're gonna have to get on some exercise uh -huh. or something, do something. So if there's anything that you guys would like to see or like us to film here in the valley or something you've heard about or something you have interest in. Just let us know. Let us know in the comments below so we can uh Get that filmed for you. There's some other trips we might do this summer. Uh, since I can't go to the Bahamas or the Caribbean this year, I will probably definitely be going up to uh, maybe Catalina Island because I'm going to do some scuba diving. So we'll take you guys along for that. That's only a couple hour drive and then a little short ferry boat ride over. Well, about a two hour boat ride. Yeah. Well, it's but it's a nice now. trip. The flies are out today. So. Oh, you ate yours fast. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, so whatever, whoever's um, not been to Pumpkins and something you want to see or know what to, to do, just let us know. We'll be glad to film it. Well, and we'll talk about it. Supposedly, right now, all the hotels are closed. They're supposed mm -hmm. to open up maybe June 19th. We don't know yet. My, my hotel right now is we're still planning on opening June 1st, unless the city tells them no. With we're so far we have a few rooms on the books not a whole lot though but they have passed a new ordinance where only one person is allowed in a swimming pool if it's a hotel pool if it's a condo community or apartments they are now allowing um, just families i think what a, no well, more than Farrah, five. Our, we have a friend farrah hers is completely locked she can't even use her swimming pool in her condo area now whether or not that's going to change, I'm sure it will, but I, thus far she's not very happy. They're charging her quite a bit of money for an HOA fee and she can't even use a swimming pool. And obviously it's been in, you know, the hundreds. So, and yeah, she's we're, getting into, lady, we're, getting so, in, we're getting into triple digits now. Yeah. And, I mean, last week we hit 108 and then we're talking next week 110, so. Yeah, the other day we, hit, we did hit a record for this time of year because it's normally not this hot, but it reached 110 I think two days ago and that was, they said it broke a record for us. So yeah, our temperatures are climbing about 90, fast. But now, we're, like you said, we're in the high hundreds now. So we'll see what happens, because that means we might have a very, very hot summer. A couple years back, the same thing happened with a, we had a very early beginning of summer, and then we had a whole week, I want to say August, where our lowest temperatures were about 125 degrees every day, and that is not a lie. And I would work till 11 o'clock at night. I would leave work with still like 105 degrees out of, at 11 o'clock at night. You wake up and you look, it's already about still 103. So it can be brutal. So if you don't like the heat, you do not come to Palm Springs. And uh, probably in July and August is our hottest summers. Yes, we have AC, but I myself, people think I'm crazy, but I... I drive around with my sunroof open. I don't even use the AC because it bothers my allergies. At home, I have to use it, yes, because you have appliances. I have my mother-in-law. David, they, they need the AC. I, I wouldn't really run it, to be honest, even though it sounds crazy because I, I just love the heat. But again, with the appliances and different things, and an elderly mom, you have to make sure that they're taken care of. Alright guys, so we're going to call this video a wrap. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out some of our other playlists. We have uh, all kinds of cruise vlogs, scuba diving. Um, we've got a couple videos out there now for our home remodeling projects and things we've and been doing. And then we still have, we still have an, I think, the ending of our last cruise. Um, yeah, we have one more. That, yeah, to catch yeah, up Yeah, but on. I just haven't had a chance to put that to get together yet, and that'll be done with that series. So, uh, everyone stay safe. Thanks for watching. Happy Mother's Day, everyone out Happy there. Happy Mother's Day. And remember, enjoy life. Make, Make it an adventure. adventure. Bye, Bye, guys.